what's up guys and welcome back to software and Audio solutions and today we're talking about resident evil village now resident evil village has been released and a lot of people are busy playing this game right now and a lot of people has been following the genre for this game or the series for this game like basically you played resident evil from the very start of the resident evil series all the way through to the latest version which is resident evil village commonly known as resident evil 8 now if you are one of those people that's busy playing this game right now and you're getting a lot of fps drops stutter in game lag in game and the gameplay experience is just really really bad for you today i'm going to show you some windows tips and tricks that you can do to get more fps out of this game now a lot of people on social media like on reddit on facebook all over people are having problems with this game where like in the beginning of the game already they'll get into the game and then in the beginning of the game they're already getting under 60 fps or like really low fps i'm talking about 30 fps 35 40 and they don't hit that 60 mark now you only need 60 fps to play a game at a smooth frame rate you need 60 fps and above okay so today i'm going to show you what you can do inside windows inside your graphics options and inside your pc not the build, but inside the apps and stuff like that. What you can do to get more FPS out of this game. All you're going to need to do is follow my steps to the T. And you should get more FPS out of this game. And trust me, it works. Because I'm going to show you proof. What's going to happen inside the settings. When I go into this game. And I'm going to show you some proof with FPS on the left hand side of my screen. Because I use MSI Afterburner. Now, IMD users, stay tuned because I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that you can also do. Don't worry, I've got you as well. Everyone out there, it doesn't matter if you play this game on a laptop, on a desktop, on a gaming laptop, a gaming desktop, it does not matter. Today, I'm going to show you how you can boost FPS to get more FPS out of this game and make this game run so much better. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to go to your desktop. Once you're on your desktop, you're going to go to the search button here and you're going to type in settings just like this and say settings okay settings and go to update and security this is highly recommended to keep your windows up to date on a regular basis please keep your windows up to date because if you do not keep your windows up to date windows itself needs to be updated to keep your games updated as well so your windows and your graphics card drivers the settings for your cpu everything is just up to date okay so you're going to update this make sure it's up to date and then once you're over here, you're going to go here and you're going to switch this off. Once you're done with that, you go to home and you go to system. Once you're on system, you're going to go to notification and actions and you turn this off and just put this on. You could put this off if you want to, it's your own personal preference, but I highly recommend just switching this off. Okay, where it says focus assist on here, you switch this off and switch everything off inside here as well. Where it says power and sleep. Put this on never and put this on never if you're a desktop user if you're a laptop user you can put this on whatever you want to it's your own personal preference but i highly recommend keeping these off as well where it goes to storage i keep mine off a lot of people say you should switch this on because it helps you free up space now i do this manually to free up space so that's why i don't trust this or it's all personal preference but you can play around with this you can switch this on or you can switch it off it's all up to you i keep mine off and i know what i'm doing so i switch mine off i keep mine off okay from here you go to tablet mode and you say use the appropriate mode for my hardware so if you're running a laptop or a desktop just select this option where it says when i use this device as a tablet you say don't switch to tablet mode because you do not want to run your windows in a tablet mode unless you're playing this game on a tablet which i highly doubt okay where it says multitasking this is only for users that has multiple displays if you have one display you can switch this off if you have a laptop with one screen or display if you have a computer with one monitor you switch this off if you have multiple monitors like me i have three monitors okay so if i go here i have three monitors actually i've got two monitors and a tv but anyways the monitors whatever cool so i'm going to go back here sorry go back here i'm just going to show you what this does so if i move this away okay and i move it to another screen or i move it to the other screen if i move it to my main screen i push up here it just snaps onto the screen this is what it does that's all it does now if you have one display you switch this off i keep mine on since i have multiple displays okay 
and just follow these steps okay projecting to this pc you just make sure it's off shared experience you turn this off clipboard you turn this off where it says remote desktop you turn this off all right once you're done with that what you're going to need to do you're going to go to apps once you're in apps you scroll down and you find anything inside what you have installed on your windows that you don't need and uninstall it you do not need a lot of things on your computer you won't need okay i mean or you might have stuff on your pc that you will need depends on your own personal preference these ones here you do not delete windows needs them and your game needs them as well okay where we go to default apps these are your defaults so this is your own personal preference offline maps what you're going to need to do is go to delete all maps and say delete all switch this off switch this off and then you're going to go to apps for website when you're over here you turn this off turn that off you go to video playback i highly recommend switching this off and when you go to startup you switch off everything you do not need now if you're playing this game on steam you could switch steam off switch if origin off if you're using origin if you're using any type of game stuff switch them off and automatically open them once windows has started now these over here needs to stay on because users this is windows okay so users windows okay so these stay on vanguard is anti-cheat for for my valorant because i play valorant with roid games now i keep mine on i can't put it off because then I, my game won't boot okay where it says audio and stuff like that you keep it on this here as a laptop user you might see something that says intel you keep this on if you are a laptop user because you might have laptop integrated graphics like hd graphics keep this on do not turn it off keep it on because if you turn it off your windows might just not boot up or you run into a blue screen error of death and you do not want that okay so the next step that you're going to need to do is you're going to go on your desktop right click on it and go to nvidia control panel and this is for nvidia users only okay amd users stay tuned i'm going to show you what you can do don't worry Okay, you open up the video control panel if you are on a video user like me you go to adjust image settings with preview and where it says use the advanced 3d settings you're going to click on use my preference and change this all the way from quality to performance so you can get more fps out of your game and say apply now i don't need this because my system is powerful enough to run this game perfectly fine but just say apply on this and then you click to click on here right you click on here and where it says nvidia geforce rtx that's my graphics card i'm running you select the graphics card you're running do not select your cpu doesn't matter what graphics card you're using select your graphics card and say apply once you're done with that what you're going to need to do is you're going to go to manage 3d settings and you're going to go to program and settings once you're over here you're going to find your resident evil inside here if you do not find it inside here don't worry all you need to do is go to the add button over here say browse and go find where your resident evil is installed and double click on it and add it once you added this what you're going to need to do is where it says image sharpening you turn this off i'm just going to go through them and just show you what you need to do okay so this off this off this off this off scroll down this one here you turn off with nvidia and say okay this one here you're not going to use global settings because we're not currently using global settings we're using program settings for the specific game and you choose your graphics card so i highly recommend clicking on this and say okay once you're done you turn this off this one here you turn use global settings off that's fine do not want to tweak anything there this one here you turn off okay this here you select your graphics card open gl rendering gpu you select your graphics card do not let it say auto select because it might select your cpu this one here you're going to go to prefer maximum performance so you can get more performance out of your game this one over here you're going to turn off you scroll down this one over here you're going to turn off this one over here you're not going to allow no you actually are going to allow but you're going to say use global settings allow okay over here where it says quality you change this from quality to performance and i'm getting a fucking message on my phone texture filtering you're going to keep this on off 
scroll down this you're going to keep on off not on auto this one over here you're going to say off so it says off this one over here where it says vsync you turn this off and this one over here where it says use the 3d application settings you click on the video icon where it says one you click on one and you say apply once you're done with this i'm just going to apply it but if i get one more fucking message on my phone i'm going to go absolutely mad in my head okay so once you're done with that what you're going to need to do is go out of this go to your desktop go to your search button over here and type in graphics settings just like this type in graphics settings and go to graphics settings once you're over here and you have this option because this option is only available to users that has either a dedicated graphics card or you have kept your windows up to date so keeping your windows up to date has a very very important role so keep your windows up to date okay so if you have this option here if you're a laptop user a desktop user it doesn't matter select this and switch it on if it's off and it asks you to restart your computer or your laptop restart it okay now amd users i just showed people how to use in the video control sorry how to use in the video control panel now amd users what you can do here is you go to browse okay and you go and find where your resident evil is installed you double click on resident evil you click on resident evil go to change options and you select your graphics card so select high performance you say save and you close out of this once you're done with that you go to the search button over here and you type in run now what you're going to need to do is press shift 5 and type in temp shift 5 again and enter now you might have a lot of bullshit and nonsense inside here you just highlight everything or you just click on anything and press ctrl and a it will highlight everything for you automatically you right click on it say delete and delete everything inside your temporary files because you do not need them anymore go to your recycling bin right click on it say empty recycling bin say yes say continue and done once you're done with that you go back to the run tab or type in run if you want to go to the run tab in an easier way you press the windows key and r to bring up the run tab okay now you're going to type in prefetch these are prefetched files that windows goes and prefetches you do not need them now you're going to do the same thing that you did in the temp files you're going to do the same thing here at the prefetch you click on anything here press ctrl and a highlight everything right click on it and say delete say skip because windows is currently using that file empty out of this or close out of that empty out of this and say yes once you're done with that what i'm going to show you now is the settings inside the game and let me show you how to do that okay so i'm just going to go find my game quickly i'm going to show you how to do this okay so this game might take a little bit of a while to open but let me show you what you're going to need to do in the game to get better fps Okay, so as you can see, we are running on DirectX 12 at the top left. You can see we're running at DirectX 12. I'm doing about almost 7 gigs on my RAM. I'm doing about 47, 49, let's say 50. Okay, oh, 45. Yeah, let's say 50 on my CPU temperature. And I'm doing about 3 gigs, almost 4 gigs on my GPU VRAM. And my CPU is at 40 degrees. Okay, so here we go. We're inside the game. I'm just going to turn off the music because we do not want the music, obviously. Um, audio, sound effects. Let's just turn all of these off. There we go. Turn that off. Now we're going to go to display. Now I'm going to use my keyboard because for some reason the mouse is just weird with this game. So I'm just going to press back and I'm going to use my keyboard to do this. Okay, where it says display. Preset. This is just the preset, okay? This here, leave it. This here, leave it, okay? Where it says this, I highly recommend keeping it on this because this makes your game look dark. You want it on this. I highly recommend playing this game in full screen mode and I highly recommend playing this game at either 1080p or anything lower than that. If you're rocking a 720p display or a 720p monitor, keep it at 720p. Do not push it up if you have a 720p monitor. Now, I can put this game even higher than what it should be, but I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to play my game at 4K because I'm going to lose frames. I've got a 4K TV, but I do not fuck around with that. Okay, I keep it at 1080p. Okay, we go down. Make sure this is at this. If it gives you 60, if it gives you 120, if it gives you 144, I highly recommend keeping it on this because you'll get more FPS out of your game. Okay, this one here, frame rate. Now you can cap this at wherever you want to. This is uncapped. This is 120 and this is 60. 
Okay, so this is uncapped. As you can see, look at my frames at the top. That's uncapped frames. So my frames will be uncapped constantly. Now, I highly recommend you keep this at 60. Because you only need 60 FPS to have a smooth gameplay experience. Okay? Trust me on this. You only need 60 frames a second. Solid. It mustn't drop. And you'll have a smooth gameplay experience. Okay. This here, you turn off. This here. This does absolutely nothing, to be honest with you. So you just keep this on normal. Okay, this one here, you want to keep this at 1, because if you start pushing this up, this is going to start eating your VRAM of your graphics card, and you do not want that, it's going to eat your graphics card. Do not put this at 0 0.5, your game's going to look like absolute horse shit, so keep this at 1, just like that. This, you can keep on, because if you turn this off, if you look at the little this picture at the bottom, or display, or whatever, if you look at the bottom, it goes all blurry, so switch this on, so you can see better. Okay, this over here, you keep on this. Do not put it on this, keep it on this. You'll get more FPS out of your game. When you go down this, you do not need on. So don't say balance, don't say that, just keep it off. Okay, which is your graphics texture. Keep it at one gig. Your game will still look absolutely fine. Even if you've got a four gig graphics card, uh, eight gig, 12 gig, six gig, doesn't matter. I've got a six gig graphics card and I'm playing this at one gig, high settings. Because if I start pushing this up, that's what's going to happen. And your game is going to start losing frames by a lot. Now, it won't show it my frames right now because it will show it in game. Okay, so I'm going to just gonna put this back on one. This, you could play around with this, okay? So I keep mine like this and I do my 60 FPS solid still. If you're still getting FPS loss, I highly recommend putting it on this, okay? But as you can see, it does nothing to my VRAM. So it won't do anything to your VRAM. So I highly recommend keeping it on this. But if you still lose FPS, change it to this, okay? This you keep on medium. Don't put it any higher. Keep it on medium. This here, where it says ray tracing. If you've got a ray tracing card, if you do have a ray tracing card, then I highly recommend switching it on. For some reason, this game, every time you switch on ray tracing, it takes me back to the top. I do not know why. If I turn this off now, it's going to take me back to the top again. So I'm going to turn it off, and boom, I'm back at the top. I don't know why this game does this, but it's a bunch of horse shit. Anyways, so once you've done the ray tracing, keep it on if you have a really good ray tracing card. If you don't, I mean, most of the people out here that's watching this video is trying to get more FPS out of the game, so switch this off, okay? This here, ambient occlusion, I highly recommend switching it off. This here, don't put this off, put it on. If you put this off, your game's going to look like horse shit. So keep this on, go down, put this at low, because I'm going to show you something quickly. Look at the picture at the bottom. Let me show you something quickly. Where it says low, okay? If I put this off, now you can see that there's no sun glare coming through the window, as you can see, right? Okay. If I put this on low, there's sun glare coming through the window, and the picture looks really good. The quality looks really good. But now watch this. If I put this up, to medium it does nothing in the picture but it's eating more vram if i put this on high it does nothing in the picture and it eats more vram if i put this on off it drops my vram completely now you can either put it on off or you put it on low and you'll still have really good quality because between low high and or low medium and high it does absolutely nothing it just eats your vram i just eat your vram and it changed the lighting quality you do not need that so you put this on low okay once you're done with this you put this off you do not want this to happen you put this off over here you put this on medium because if you put this high this starts eating your fps you do not need this on just put it on medium or you could put this on low and you should be good to go okay over here off don't put it on Yes, it might give you a little bit light, more lighting quality, and it does nothing to your VRAM, so you can play around with this, but I keep mine off. More FPS, okay? This, you keep on on. This over here, you keep on off. You do not want this on at all. You could put this on, and it does nothing to your VRAM. You can get a little bit more lighting, but just put it off if you want this game to play really well on your PC or your laptop. Okay, this over here. I highly recommend switching this on or off because it does absolutely nothing on your VRAM or to your system at all. So just keep it on. Over here, you put this off. Don't put this on because the game becomes darker. I don't know why, but just put this off. Over here, you could put this actually on either on or off. It's your own personal preference. I keep this off. Then you see more of the hair in the picture at the bottom. Okay. 
So here, keep this like this. Do not play around with this. Do not change anything here. Keep this like this. Now, once you're done with that, check your game's FPS. Now, I'm actually going to show you. I'm going to go back, back, and I'm going to go to, let's say, let's say new game. Okay, let's go standard. And I'm just going to show you guys what my FPS does in game that I do a solid 60 FPS by doing these small tweaks of this game and do solid 60 fps now i'm just going to skip through this nonsense so i'm just going to press p and say skip gifts we gave but more you took 60 fps as you ladies and gentlemen can see p i'm going to skip and i'm going to start playing the game Did you okay say something nothing i'll put her down now i'm just going to show you the game looks good as you can see the game looks absolutely beautiful Okay, so I got the baby in my hand, as you can see. There we go, the baby looks beautiful. What a cute fucking baby. Okay, anyways. So now, it does not matter where I go in this game. Doesn't matter if I'm outside. I've played this game. So, whatever you do, you can move your mouse super quick. Look down at your baby. Look wherever, look at this bush. Just look at the couch, look at the TV. Quick, 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 quick. Your FPS does not drop at all. So this will help you boost FPS. Now he's going to talk to this baby again. Right here by the steps. And now. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. What a cute baby. Now look at the FPS. Look at the FPS. Okay, I'm just going to keep looking around fast doing shit. Okay? I'm just going to do stuff. I'm just going to keep... So because a lot of Almost frames, there, you drop a lot of frames when you do shit like this in your game. You drop a lot of frames, okay? Or if you look at something specific, let's just say this is the specific thing. You start losing frames for some reason, okay? In this game. I don't know why people are getting this problem, but okay. This that I just showed you now will keep your FPS at a solid 60 FPS and your game will run perfectly fine without any problems. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go put the baby down. So I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to walk all over the place, okay? I know I need to go put him in his crib, but I'm just going to show you guys. So I go here. I look at everything. Yes, yes, baby. I'm putting you now in your crib. So I'm just going to look at the PC. So everyone that's rock rocking a laptop, do these settings and you'll get 60 FPS. I'm not going to examine that right now. So I'm just going to go here. You keep your mother waiting. She's scary when she's angry. Yeah, she's very scary when she's angry. Okay, so here, put the baby down and watch my FPS. Go, watch. Sweetheart. It stays at Don't 60 frames a second. It I'll does right not downstairs. drop. And your gameplay experience is perfect. You. Your gameplay experience is perfect. Okay, I do not want to take a photo. Anyways, 60 FPS. Doesn't matter what I do. Doesn't matter where I go. Doesn't matter what I look at. Doesn't matter if I move my mouse too fast. You'll do 60 FPS. Solid. Check it out. My FPS boost guides, they actually work. So make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification icon. Leave a like on this video if it worked for you. Leave a comment down below. And as always, peace out.